Tigers clubhouse. Another night at the office for Ron Gartenheyer. Another tough one for him to watch, though his team did play much better. Guardy's postgame thoughts are brought to you by Line and Kugels. Skip last night, 10-1. Tonight, a lot better, 4-2. The guys did compete. Uh, I think it started with Jordan Zimmer. He set the tone early. Yeah, he threw the ball good. Um, you know, these, those guys are really good hitters over there and good situational hitters. He made some really good pitches and, uh, you know, got through it. He gave us a chance. That's all you can ask for is your start pitcher to give us a chance. And, um, you know, the bullpen came in and did pretty good. They gave a couple of runs on some home runs. Uh, and that's what some of those guys can do. You can put it in the seats. If you may miss, and we held them down pretty good, but still we, we didn't find ways to score. How about the pitch to... Uh... Jason Kipnis, I thought that slider from Zim was a pretty good pitch. I thought it also was a good piece of hitting. Is yeah. that how you saw it? And it was, yeah. And he just, I mean, the first home run, he just, I mean, that was unbelievable how he just kind of went with it and hooked it. Um, and the ball really flew, too. It looked like it got side spin on it. And we saw the flags up there, and we knew it was going to be one of those lights if you get it up in the air, and it was. I think more impressive was Lindor. Yeah. That opposite field thing, that left center field, was unbelievable. He crushed that ball. I don't know how he did that. He was a strong young man. Is that, uh, you know, Buck Foreman there fell behind the count. That's a 3-1 count there. He opted to go to a changeup. Is that, is that his best pitch in that situation? Well, I think you're just trying to get him off the fastball. And uh, you, if you make a good pitch with it, it's a good pitch. But if you get it up, that's what happens when you throw a changeup and you leave it up and over the plate. And that's what he did with it. And how about, about Joe Jimenez? Uh, obviously tonight, too, struggled a little bit with some command. Is that something that he continues to work on? Well, he hasn't been out there and I mean, I think it's five days, four days, something like that. So we talked to him before the game, and he need, he was getting in the game no matter what. He needs to be out there on the mound uh, pitching, and we haven't had those situations enough for him. So there you have it. Pitch would go hit for home run. How impressive was him to go down and get that? He's a strong young man, and we've seen, you know, he, Lloyd's been working with him, and he's been working with our hitting guys about uh, you know, staying back behind the ball a little bit better, and uh, that was one of the cases. You know, if he'd got out any farther in front of it, it would have probably been a pop-up. But you know, he stayed back with his hands just good enough, and he's a strong young man. He can really flip the ball a long ways, and I think we saw that. So, it's nice to see. How impressed are you with Lugo's defense over at third base? Well, he's been working really, really hard at it. He goes out and does all of his work, and Santi and Joe Vavra have been, you know, hitting those ground balls side to side with him, learning, letting him play deeper which gives him more coverage out there, and he's moving really quick, and his arm's accurate. So, you know, we're, we're impressed with that, and we like what we see out of him. And, uh, you know, once he really gets going with the bat, he's a strong young man, too. So it's just a learning experience for him. Do you think he's more comfortable, though, this second time around? Oh, no doubt. Yeah, he feels he belongs. He knows he belongs. He's, he's out there playing every day, and you know, very seldom do we even take him out. So he, he knows he belongs. We're giving him his chance, and he's trying to take advantage of it. Hey, Ryan, you might have already been asked this, so I apologize, but just Zimmerman, his last three starts, he's got right around a 2-5 ERA. How impressed with you? Have you been with him? Well, he's good. He's been locating. Uh, we know we've been guarded uh, with his innings, making sure we get him back right. Tonight, you know, we went into the sixth inning and did a great job. His pitch count was, you know, right where we expected it to be, you know, somewhere around 90 pitches or so, and uh, he feels great, and that's what the key is. we got to keep him feeling great for the rest of this uh, year, uh, this next month, and, uh, you know, what the... It's nice to see him pitch, and he's got good stuff. He's come up with a really nice two-seamer now that he's been working on, and that ball's moving all over the place, which is huge for him. You ever see something like this where a team wins 13 in a row against another team? And You talk about confidence all the time, but what is that streak, I guess, due to the confidence? of? You well, know? it's just, I mean, we don't really think about it as far as streaks. We just play day by day, and, and you know, they won a series over here, they come back. We don't, You guys write about it, and you talk about it, but we really don't think about it. We're just trying to win a ball game tonight, and, you know, it just says right now they're playing good baseball, and they're playing for a playoff spot. We're fighting just to kind of survive out here in the games and try to get better with a lot of young guys. Uh, so, yeah, they're good. They're a good baseball team, and they can do that to other teams. In that sense, Ron, is this a little bit more like what you saw on the road trip and that it was more competitive as a little bit cleaner baseball? It was. Uh, you know, we still, we're not swinging like we did on the road. We're getting a lot of hits and putting together a lot of hits, uh, um, you know, back-to-back -back hits and things like that. And, and like I said, when you're playing all these playoff teams, you're going to face some pitchers that we haven't seen before. A lot of our guys haven't seen them, and, and uh, that all goes into it. So I'd like us to obviously put some more hits together and have a big inning. And uh, we did a few of those things on the road, and now we got to carry it here at home. Uh, um, but like I said, we're playing some of the best teams 
in the league uh, and uh, starting on that last road trip and now here and then we got Minnesota coming in so this is a good challenge for our guys that hopefully they're learning from it. How surprised have you been with a home run difference here? I mean, you guys have given up 112 and I'm not sure how many you've hit but as I know it's nowhere near that. That it's just that you haven't been able to get any power generated here. Well I mean like I said I, and we just talked about it we got a lot of kids in the lineup and and, uh, you know, they're learning. We've got some guys that can do that, can hit the ball out of the ballpark. Uh, but, like I said, they're still learning to stay in the strike zone right now. We start getting really out of whack. That's what happens. We punch out a lot of times. So, eventually, they'll get it and learn the strike zone. And then some of those balls will start going out. That's what we all hope for. Encouraging some from Castro to get that ball in the air and kind of know the situation. Yeah. Yeah, good at bat. I mean, battled, had to battle for it and got a pitch and, and, and got the run in, which was huge uh, for him and for us. And... Like I said, he stayed in the zone a little bit better that time, and, and that was a big at-bat for us at the time. Hey, Ryan, you talked about your future a little bit before the game. Al said during the game that they fully intend to bring you on back. Just, I know you said you want to come back if they're going to bring you back, but just how difficult has this been, and why, why would you want to come back? Just because, obviously, you want to see this team get better, and can you kind of just... Because well, I, I got to believe this takes a lot of time. Well, you start something, you want to finish it. You want yeah. to see the, the rebuild. It's a rebuild, and they told me that right from the get-go, and you know what? I'm happy they give me this opportunity to run with these guys. We've done that in my other place a lot. A lot of people changing here and there, and and uh, you know what? But this is a hard one. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. It's tough on them, too. Uh, uh, they're trying to get us players, and, and uh, you know what, Al and I talk all the time. So uh, we try not to talk about contracts or anything like that during the course of the season. Those things take care after the season's over with. And like I said, you'll we'll, we'll talk about with me eventually or whether he wants me back. He told me tonight that somebody called him and asked him about my contract situation. And I said, we don't even have to talk about that. I don't worry about that right now. I worry about these kids getting better and by the end of the season, feeling really comfortable who's coming back with us next year. How are these kids playing here at home? Uh, they haven't played well. You know, what, 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 what can we do to allow them to, um, to start putting on a little bit of a show for the fans here? Well, I, I just think it's getting some hits and running around the bases like we were able to do on the road. When you start putting hits together and you start turning a single into a double, but right now you got to get hits first. We got to get the single, and and this is a perfect field for it. It's a big outfield, and you can get those balls in the gap and hit them by a shortstop and go for two. But you first you got to put the string together. Hits. We're just not doing that right now. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir.